See these screws here. Get a little bit in there. I want to make sure that the last time you go over it, if you have something like this, the last time you go over it, not to go over the screws because it will, will smear the compound back over the heat sink. Last time with the uh, thermal remover, Just right where the CP is going to go. Not to go over the screws. I don't want to spread uh, more compound back over it. So you can see there, if you're going to go back over the screws, go to the outside. You can see it's pretty clean there. I'll go back over it one more time, make sure all the compounds is out of the groove. So you got thermal compound off both of the both the CPU and the heat sink. Now you want to purify them. Now uh, you don't have to do this for the CPU that you're taking out, obviously, um, but I do it because I have to keep it clean. So you put a couple drops of that on. So use the coffee filter for this. So you can see it on there there. I'm trying to use a small surface like that so you can see there Nice clean. CPU. And there's a glare on that. Let me see if I can. Oops. Sorry about that. Yeah, you can see a little bit better, maybe. Maybe not. That's about as good as it's going to get there. So, alright, so you got the CPU taken out, cleaned off. You do that so you won't, um, you won't get any of the compound around the socket. Now here, I'll show you what's in the box, the processor box. Alright, 
right, so here, AMD FX8120, most processors come in a box. Uh, AMD did something new with the FX, 8 cores, uh, they put it in a 10. So you open it up, you got, uh, please read first, update your BIOS, warranty stuff. Here, installation, guides, um, in every language you can. Um, uh, I also stated about the socket. You want to make sure you have the right socket, which means that you want to have the. You want to make sure you have the right motherboard. Um, now this socket here. This socket here is a AM3 Plus, which is for Phenom 2s. Um, Athlon 2s and FX processors and will also be for the pile driver coming out soon or next year so and I'll show you the difference of that once we get the CPU out so back to this here and here you'll find the processor this is the old one here um, I'm putting the old one in there but it looks like this, it'll come like that. A little plastic piece like that. You want to make sure not to bounce that around too much. I drop it. And then it also comes with a stock heat sink. Now, um, for un uh, processors that are un not unlocked, you probably just, you'll be fine with one of these. Um, this is uh, what the manufacturer of the processor gives you for to cool the CPU. Now you can see they they put their own thermal compound right on there. So you can just once you get the CPU in, you just drop this right on top and clip it in. So if you plan on you know just changing out the processor and not messing with any of the frequencies or anything like that, this will do just fine. So, you want to find something to set your old processor in. I'll just use this. And we'll go back over to the CPU here. So you can see it there. Now, for the AMD process uh, platform, also the Intel is very similar. You'll have a lever here uh, on, on the side of the processor. What you want to do is you want to pull it to the side to unlock it, and then you want to pull it up. And these AMDs, well, for my experience, they clip in there so you don't want to yank it back. And once it's all the way up, Take the processor, pull it straight up. That's it right there. So we'll just take this, set it right here, somewhere safe where it's not going to get banged around or dropped or anything. And then you're good to go. Your processor's out. Once you got that done, Take the new processor. Uh, be very careful with these. I'm sure you paid a pretty penny if you're upgrading. So here's the new one. Um, there's a certain way to put these in. Now on the socket you can see that there's missing holes as well on the processor you can see there's missing pins. You want to line those up. Now AMD, I'm not sure about Intel, but AMD on their on theirs on one of the corners you can see an arrow, and that arrow you want to match up with the arrow outside of the 